first of all, I'd like to say I kind of looked at this in an interesting way, and I actually decided yesterday to go backwards from what I was originally going to talk about. So our co-op, it consists of two stores and a commissary in Corvallis, Oregon. We've been in business for, it will be 50 years in 2020. We're really excited about that. Um, and what I'd like to start talking about first is our relationships within our community. We have had, I mean, we started out like a lot of co-ops did back in the day where some professors and students from OSU were like, we can't get the food that we want. Nobody's selling brown rice. Nobody's selling the kind of food that we're interested in. Let's get together and let's put together a co-op. And I think we've honored that tradition for the past 48, almost 49 years um, very well. And we try to reach out and establish new relationships always. Just because we started as a group with OSU students and professors, we found that over the past number of years, OSU students have not been a big part of our business. So we've reached out and we're now doing a 15% off produce every Tuesday for college students. If you're an OSU student or you're a Lynn Benton Community College student, you can come in and get that. That's bringing more students in. That's giving us a closer relationship with our students in town. Um, I am also, and a couple little things that I do in town, I'm one of the members of the steering committee of the Sustainability Coalition, which is a group of people who get together and we work on waste prevention and energy savings and economic vitality. I actually chair that committee and work closely with some people in the city on economic development, which is something that really enhances the co-op's relationship to our community. I also serve on the Consolidated Services Committee of our homeless organization in town, which is really important for us because the homeless shelter was across the cold weather, men's shelter was across the street from us last year, and after a whole bunch of NIMBY stuff happened in Corvallis, it will be there again this coming year. We're the organization, we're a community organization, we are willing to sit down at the table and talk to all the stakeholders and work things out for what's best for the community. It's not what's best for us all the time. The community is very important to us. Um, from there, as we quickly approach that 50th anniversary, we never would have been able to reach that milestone without our vendors. So we've established great relationships with our vendors. Some of them kind of ebb and flow. We've had to go back. We had some major transformations in our produce management. We had to go back to some of our farmers and say, we know we've been neglecting you a little bit, and we need to get that relationship back on par with what we want it to be, and we've been able to do that. So reaching out, outreach, it's all about that. Um, we try to meet regularly with vendors to find out what's working for them and what's working for us. So we're establishing those great relationships. Um, I recently wrote a letter, Sweet Creek Foods, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, uh, is looking for a grant because they want to take specialty crops that are grown in small quantities and introduce those as new products to the community and our food co-op will be doing that introduction. So we'll kind of have an exclusive right to those products until such time as they get larger. And because I was willing to write a grant and know Paul, the owner of that company, we were able to be a part of that. Another way we've reached out into our community is we are part of Eknow Tech, which is a packaging company in Albany across the river from us. They're doing a closed loop recycling program and the co-op was able to be the test pilot for that. They're taking those compostable forks, knives, and spoons that aren't compostable. They're collecting them, sanitizing them, grinding them up, and making brand new knives, forks, and spoons out of them. So it's a way that we're able to give back to the community and back to a business and support them where nobody else could do it. They approached OSU before, but they were too big of an organization and couldn't make a decision. And as a co-op, we were able to make a quick decision, believe it or not. Um, other outside organizations, the Western Corridor of NCG, it's very valuable to our co-op. Not only do I go to NCG meetings with the corridor, which William does a great job running, 
but also other members of the staff are able to connect with their counterparts in the corridor to talk about issues that they have. You know, why reinvent the wheel? If another co-op has done something and had a similar issue in the past, let's use the information that they have in order to make ours a better co-op. There are also educational opportunities. Uh, I call some of my counterparts and say, just to check in, make sure everything's going okay, or if I have a question or a problem. So I have those people to reach out to. And then NCG has been an incredible boon to our co-op. A number of years ago, 2010, two big competitors moved into town. Trader Joe's opened in February, and then Market of Choice opened in October. The co-op lost $1 million in sales in 2011 because of those two stores being open. And we had to really scramble, try to start making some changes, but we couldn't make the changes fast enough for the bank that we were working with. Hence, our reaching out to our friends at NCG who were able to come in and help us negotiate with that bank to make sure that they didn't you know, pull all of our loans, which is what they wanted to do, and NCG helped us through the development cooperative, signed a contract, had Frank Worrell, who was working with them, come in and work with us for um, over a year to be able to accelerate the changes that we needed to make to survive and thrive in the community. You know, so all of those different relationships are so important to all of us and to all community organizations. Um, the co-op is known as a place that you can come and ask for help. And it doesn't matter what that help is going to be. And we also feel very comfortable in going out to everybody else and asking for their help in turn. All right. Thank you.